Hey everybody, I'm back with another quick Marvelous Designer tutorial, and in case you missed it, we recently uploaded a video where I showed you how to make a really quick and simple jeans and t-shirt in Marvelous Designer. And I want to show you how to do it even easier now that we have a little bit of knowledge of the program. But really quick, I just want to point out that we uploaded some mannequin versions of these characters so that you can follow along if you want to. Now these are the same underlying bodies as our other modular characters, it's just the mannequin version. But it does have a free version with no textures for those of you who are not pro members, you can still download the free version and follow along. So as I mentioned, now that we have a little bit more knowledge in the program, I want to show you an even easier way to make very simple garments if you just need something really quick. So open this up in your favorite modeling software. I use Maya, but this will work exactly the same in Blender or 3ds Max or Cinema 4D. But we can actually create the garments very quickly and easily in some other program and bring it into Marvelous Designer just for simulation. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to box model a very basic t-shirt. Let's start with a cube. If you're in Blender, there will already be a cube here. And I'll just scale it up to about the size of his rib cage like that. Now I'm going to select the side faces and the top like that. And I'm going to press extrude. Now in Maya, the option is you turn off keep faces together. And then if I go to offset, I can scale each face sort of independently like that. Now I'll select these side faces, just the side ones. And I'll extrude them out like this and press delete. So let's also delete this top one for the neck opening. And then here, I'm going to extrude down and also press delete. So now we have the basic box of a t-shirt. Now if you want to, you can go and position this a little bit closer to where it's going to go on his arms like that. And now really quickly, I'm going to smooth it or add geometry or whatever your program calls it. Basically, we need to subdivide this. And it looks like I can go with one more subdivision like that. Doesn't quite look good yet, but we're getting closer. So I'm going to use Maya sculpting tools to just relax. Now we can try to shape this a little bit closer to the shape of a t-shirt. The point of this tutorial is just to show you that you don't have to create the shape of your garments in Marvelous Designer. You can do it in whatever program you're comfortable with. I just happen to be comfortable with Maya. And actually my favorite way to do this is in ZBrush. Much easier in ZBrush, but we haven't really covered ZBrush on the channel, so if you'd like us to, be sure to leave a comment about that and we'll make some videos on it. And be sure to subscribe so you're ready when we release those videos. Now one thing that's very important to realize is that this geometry can only bend where there's a vertex, so an edge can't bend, it can only bend where there's a vertex. So it's important for cloth simulation that you have a lot of vertices, otherwise you'll be able to see the facets. So let's subdivide this a few more times. And now that I have more detail, I can actually make it a little bit more form-fitting. Now, I am going pretty quickly for the sake of speed. I'm not taking as much time as I normally would to make it look perfect. I'm just trying to get the point across to you guys that anything can be cloth in Marvelous Designer if you wanted to. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to make a pair of shorts. I'm going to do it a slightly different way just to give you some ideas. So another way that you could create clothing really quickly is to just duplicate the body. I'm going to hide the original body and I'll name this copy of it shorts. And now I'm going to go through and delete all of the faces that I don't want to be a part of my shorts. And if I bring back the original body, I can see I have a pair of shorts. It's a little bit too tight. We can fix that, but it's a good start. So now I'm going to go use my sculpting tool to just relax the mesh again like I did with the t-shirt. That was pretty quick, right? So in the past, when I've had to simulate really tight fitting clothing like superhero suits, I actually just use a copy of the body itself and it makes a great starting point in Marvelous Designer. Saves a lot of time. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, I also took the time to really quickly UV map this t-shirt, but not the shorts, because I want to show you the benefit of UV mapping versus the limitations of not UV mapping. But it's totally optional for this technique if you don't feel like doing it. Okay, and next I'm going to export each of these as its own OBJ. I'm going to jump back over to Marvelous Designer, where I have the mannequin from the previous video loaded up. It's the same mannequin I was just working with in Maya. And I'm going to import these garments one at a time and show you the difference between importing it with UVs and without UVs. So let's start with the shirt. I'm going to go File, Import, OBJ. I'll grab my ugly shirt here. And this window is very important. Don't just press OK. Where it says Load Type, Open, you want to make sure you change this to Add. Because if I set it to Open, then it's going to open up a fresh new scene and you might lose your mannequin or any other garments you've been working on. And then where it says Object Type Garment, that's obvious we want it to be his garment. Now, we did UV map this t-shirt, and so we can say Trace 2D Pattern from UV Map. And if I press OK, you might get a warning. That's OK, I'll show you how to fix it. So notice that it tried to recreate the garment, but in a Marvelous Designer native way. If I look at the wireframe of this model, it's not at all what we modeled in Maya. It's totally different. So it actually took the UV map 
from Maya and the shape of the model from Maya, and it tried to recreate a fresh new Marvelous Designer garment. Now, we did get an error and it didn't bring in this sleeve, which is a problem, but I'll show you how to fix it. But we can also just really quickly test it by pressing spacebar, and it actually works pretty well. Sometimes it comes apart at the seams. Um, there's a little bit of a gap right here, you can see. And if that happens, just go and re-sew it the way that we learned in the first video. Now to fix this missing sleeve, it's actually not that difficult. I'm just gonna duplicate it like we did in the previous video when we were modeling our t-shirt. And you can see it actually pops up right there. But if I press play, it's just gonna fall off. So let's sew that up really quick. Now if you don't remember how to sew, again, go watch that previous video. All right, all done, let's press play. And it looks great. So the benefit to modeling this in another program is if you're comfortable with that program already, it's a lot quicker and a lot easier than doing it in Marvelous Designer if you have no experience. And then the benefit of having a UV map is it becomes a native Marvelous Designer garment. And so you can make changes really quickly if you need to, if it doesn't fit right. Like you can see that it's kind of baggy through here. So if I wanted to, I could go through and take the time and just sort of fix this pattern to look a little bit nicer and fit a little bit better. Now let me show you what happens if you import something like these shorts that we made earlier that don't have a UV map. So I'll go up to File, Import, OBJ, and we'll grab the ugly shorts. And this window is exactly the same, but I'm gonna uncheck the Trace 2D pattern from UV map and press OK. And it's gonna import the shorts exactly how they were made in Maya. If I look at the wireframe, you can see it basically matches exactly what we did in Maya. Also take note that over here in the 2D pattern, there's nothing there. So the downside to this technique is that you just get what you get. You can't change it once it's in Marvelous Designer. But the benefit to it is, again, it's very quick. You saw how quickly I modeled these shorts and we can simulate it. If we press play, it still moves like cloth. We just can't make any changes if it doesn't fit right. So this technique is excellent if you just need to make a really quick but really simple cloth object, whether it's clothing or just something else made of cloth. Um, I actually use it a lot for things like capes and skirts and like loincloths for my barbarian warriors because it's just squares of cloth. So if it doesn't fit quite right, it actually kind of fits the character. Now I already mentioned that I wanted to make a more complex garment for you guys, like a jacket or maybe a hoodie or something like that. So be sure to subscribe to this channel so you're ready right when that video comes out. And if you want to see me make anything else cool with this program, like maybe maybe something sci-fi or fantasy, be sure to leave a comment. Maybe we'll even get into some animation and simulation and stuff like that. And if you want to try this for yourself, go over to RenderCrate and download those mannequins. Remember that there is a free option if you're not a pro user. It just doesn't come with textures, but it's great for designing outfits like this. Now, if you do make anything cool with this mannequin, be sure to share it on our Discord or tag us on Instagram with it. All right, later creators.